You ready, Matt? We good? Yep, we're good. Come on, guys. Matt, I know as a closer, you know, you love to get out there the next day after you have a tough one. Uh, you know, just just how, how frustrating was that just to have the, the kind of night you did tonight? Um, I think frustrated is probably a bit of an understatement. Um, you know, it, it, it's been a tough couple of weeks for me. Um, you know, I was dealing with some mechanical stuff with the ball leaking back over the middle of the zone. I feel like I've actually fixed that. I feel like the ball has, has been coming out pretty good and, and been pretty true. Um, I mean, baseball is a funny game, man. Uh, you know, I'll tell you, between yesterday and today, I thought I made some really good pitches. I mean, minus the double that, that the guy hit yesterday and then minus the two walks today, obviously. Um, but the pitches that I made on, on, on the, the three singles yesterday and on the homework today that Donald said, I mean, I, it's exactly what I'm trying to throw it. Um, I don't think any of those are bad pitches. I mean, the, the, the ones that Donald said tonight, I mean, I threw a front throw a curveball and then threw a fastball out of the same slot above the zone and he hit it 400 and some odd feet. Um, it's a frustrating game. Um, and I don't, I don't know that you're going to find somebody that's that's more frustrated than me right now. So we're going to keep grinding. Listen, hey, the biggest takeaway from tonight, right, obviously, Robles came in and, and picked me up and picked the guys up. Um, you know, the offense was incredible tonight. The guys put a ton of quality and best together. Um, at the end of the day, it's about winning ball games right now, plain and simple. Um, and I picked a bad time to start sucking. But uh, it's about winning ball games, And, and we, you know, even even with my struggles the last couple of nights, guys have come through in the clutch to pick me up and, and we won both ball games, um, which I think is really important to, to make sure that everybody understands that. Um, so I'm going to keep grinding, man. We got 30 some odd games left, a little over a month for the postseason. Um, I'm going to keep working. I mean, it ain't going to stop now. I, I have full anticipation or I anticipate fully um, getting into the postseason with this squad. Um, I'm making sure that I'm there to do my part. And um, and that's the end of it, right? I mean, it, it's not gonna stop now. So I'll give a push you with get AC, tech, walk, you and everybody, video guys, see if there's anything going on. Um, see if we drop, drop something, find something. Um, but we're gonna keep working. We're gonna keep working. You know, that's, that's kind of the bottom line. Matt, along the lines of the win being the most important thing, you looked as animated as anyone in the dugout as Robles was getting through that. What's going through your mind as you're watching that? I mean, I, in a situation like that, listen, like, I can be pissed at myself later. I can be selfish and, and, and slam stuff or go back to my apartment and be pissed off and, and worry about all that nonsense later. Um, the most important thing in that moment was for me to be a good teammate to, to Robles. Plain and simple. He's coming in, he's trying to clean up my mess, trying to help us win the ball game and close that down for us. My sole job there is to cheer him on as loud as I can. Um, got nothing to do with my runners being on base. It's it's just it's about winning ball games. And every ball game that we win now helps us moving forward and, and, and trying to get back to the postseason. Um, so I thought it would have been incredibly selfish in myself to sit in, in the back while everybody's out there cheering. He, he's trying to clean up my mess. So um, I thought the I thought the right thing to do and, and to be a good teammate was to, to be on the top step cheering him on. In your mind, do you think you could benefit from stepping out of the closer's role even just for a short time? Um, you know what? I'm going to leave that decision up to AC and Bushy. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to be ready whenever they whenever that phone rings. Um, we're going to continue to work. We're going to get this right. I mean, I'm not going to make no mistake. I mean, this, this is going to get fixed and I'm going to go back to being exactly what I was three weeks ago. Um, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. So, um, whatever AC and Bush you want to do that, that they feel is, is the right decision for the team to help us win ball games, I will be completely on board with. That is the number one goal right now. And I'll say it over and over. Matt, how would you describe what these two wins have been? Um, I think they're awesome. Um, I, you know, obviously yesterday, yesterday, Evo threw a, threw a phenomenal game. Um, Shaw comes in and, and hits a walk-off granny, which is unbelievable. Uh, and, then, and then today, just the offense just being absolutely relentless. I mean, Renfro's got the two bombs. Doogie's got the doubles. I think it was Kike. I think it was Kike who hit the two-run bomb. Um, just... 
today was awesome to watch. I mean, so many guys stepped up in so many different ways. Um, defensively in the first, I mean, we made a couple of really nice plays. Um, offensively, and then some guys in the bullpen stepped up huge for us. I mean, this is a complete team win. Um, and it's awesome to see. It really is. Uh, you know, everybody, whether it's new guys, old guys, um, seeing guys step up and, and helping us win ball games is, is awesome right now. Matt, early in the year, you were talking about how you're really buying into that new approach, pounding the strike zone, attacking early, all that type of stuff. And that was a huge reason for your success early. Over the last few weeks, made you kind of rethink that at all? Um, I'll be lying to you if I told you that it, that it was easy to stay the course right now when I feel like every quality pitch that I throw is getting hit. Um, but, I mean, the percentages have to play themselves. I mean, I don't know. We're, we're going to – I'll sit down with Bushy and, and, and AC and everybody tomorrow, right? We'll, we'll continue to work through it. Um, it's definitely frustrating. It's definitely difficult to stay the pack or to stay the course um, when it doesn't go your way. I mean, right, any, anything is easy and easy to buy into and it's all going great and, and things are awesome, right? Um, but, you know, I – I've always been better. I've always been better when I'm in the zone, right? I mean, just plain and simple. I, I think everybody in this call can agree that the first four and a half months of this season were by far the best that I've ever had in my career because of that. Um, so while it might be frustrating, and, and, and while I do think that some good pitchers are getting hits or, or being hit, um, I don't know that changing my game plan completely because of – four or five games out of 50 is, is necessarily the right answer. But that's a discussion to be had um, tomorrow. You guys, anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.